For a hundred years, we have found different ways of using radiation to diagnose infections without surgery. With a range of challenges threatening the global progress against infectious diseases, nuclear science is providing a vital weapon in this ongoing battle. In total, infectious diseases kill 13 million people every year, mostly the young and the poor. Measles cases are hitting record highs in Europe, progress battling malaria has stalled, and multi-drug resistant tuberculosis continues to rise. Mosquitoes alone carry fatal infections that kill over a million people a year, making them the world's most dangerous animal. These kind of diseases can progress very fast. So it's important to identify as soon as possible in order to treat the patient first, and also to try to avoid the spread of the diseases. Nuclear-derived techniques allow us to quickly and cheaply test the blood of a sick person to determine the exact virus. This means treatment can be started immediately. It is particularly important when we are talking about multi-drug resistant strains, so-called superbugs. Once we know which bug is causing the problem, we need to evaluate the extent and location of the infection. Nuclear imaging allows us to safely look inside the body by giving the patient a small dose of radioactive medication. Diagnosis using nuclear imaging relies on the use of molecules that emit a tiny bit of radiation enough to be detected using gamma camera, but too small to cause harm when applied properly. This not only allows us to see a specific organ, but also shows us how well that organ is working. The medical imaging can help us to tailor the treatment that the patient needs. How? By identifying the specific disease, the location, the spread, so then we can decide what is better for the patient. 